Hi there, this is John Levensold for Killer PHP, and today what I'm going to be doing is looking at how we can build a HTML5 website. We're going to be looking at the nav tag, the header tag, and uh, also the footer tag, and we're going to be designing a site that looks similar to this, but we're going to be doing away with a lot of the HTML and CSS that uh, and also images that we were using before and trying to make this sort of a simpler design to create. So let's get started. I have this domain on my local machine, KPHP, and I'm going to be creating a folder for this project. I'm going to call it 02. This way at the end I can send this all to you or you can download it off of the Killer Sites University or Killer PHP. Uh, whatever Steph decides, where Steph decides to publish this. And I'm just going to save an empty text document in that 02 folder. I'll call this index.html. So far HTML5 looks just like regular HTML. And I'm going to call this style.css. So I'm going to create a CSS file and an index.html file. Now the first thing about HTML5 is that the doc type is really, really simple. It's just doc type HTML, HTML lang equals en, and then you're closing HTML tag, and just hit save. From there, we can have our head and our body tags, and that is a valid HTML5 document. Now, something that also helps is to specify the character set. This basically tells the browser that you're using, you know, Kanji if you're using a doing a Chinese website, or you're using UTF-8 if you're doing something that's either part of, you know, Western Europe or America. So, this is also the kind of stuff that people write once and then sort of copy paste from one website they do to the next character set equals UTF-8 excuse me let me just uh, I'm not going to indent this so much because then you won't see anything there we go okay uh, what's next well just like regular HTML got a title tag so I'll just say my HTML5 page and then we need to link out to our style sheet again this is exactly the same whoops looks like BB edit is too smart for its own good okay rel style sheet type text slash CSS and the URI is going to be style.css. Now just to make sure that this is working, I'm going to say hello world. And then from my browser here, refresh this, I can see that there's now an O2. Click on that and I see HTML, I see hello world. If I view the source of this page, select it all, and then go to the validator. This is a service provided by the World Wide Web Consortium and I say I want to validate by direct input and paste this in, hit check, and it says this document has successfully passed HTML5, or was successfully checked as HTML5. So that's a really good, that's a really good sign. In fact, it's even saying that UTF-8 is character assumed, and this is an experimental checker, but those are our only two warnings. But that's a good sign. So, with that in place, let's get started. Instead of using in the other example I had something like div equals head and then I put in my header here. Now instead with HTML5 we can create a header section and then I can say that there's a section here. In fact I don't even need the section tag I can just say there's a header and then there's an h2 say Acme website Inc. 
and tagline here. So now I've got this header section and you'll notice that the markup makes a lot more sense. Refresh this, everything looks the same, but the markup is substantially more, substantially cleaner. Now in my style tag here, my style file here for my CSS, I'm just going to create a star declaration which is basically everything and I'm going to do a global reset. And then for my h1, h2, h3 paragraphs and uh, let's say list items and hyperlinks I want my font family to be Arial and sans serif. Refresh this again you'll notice that everything is now hugging the top which is a good sign and everything looks good.